Hey everyone, it's Delta Force here, aka James Rasmussen. Today I'm going to showcase you how to install the Realism Dispatch Exchange 3.0.1. So let's get started. So to start up with, you want to head to this. You want to download it from either GTA 5.gta5 mods.com or lspdfr.com. Link will that will be down in the description below. So let's get start continuing. After you've downloaded the mod, you will be directed to a media file page where you will download the mod itself. When you download that media file folder, you will receive this right here. So let's get on to it. When you first you open the file, you would see this. That's just simply shown here. This, when you go into all the files, you will have everything, max configuration, everything you will need to know. You can feel free to read the read means. You can pause the video and read them here, or you can do it yourself. This is the temp folder. This is where, if you have one to do, this is uh, when you're sample. This is the normal readme, which gives a link also how to install it. But we're not going to take that. We're simply going to go to this folder. So, this is the mod folder itself. What you can do is you can open your open IV, go to Windows if you're running on that, or either a PS4 or an Xbox to be correct. When the, the file is open, you simply want to select Tools, Package Installer, and you'll press this Open. And install. This will simply do is add the normal files, basic files, default files that was coming with the folder in the game. So if you want extra additional mods to come on, you simply have to go to this IDE installer. When you open this one, it will pop up with this right here. And you can pause the video again, you can pause the video, read through this, whatever you want to know, or you, you can do it yourself. Moving on. Currently we have the RDE add-ons, this is the federal law edition, we have the Sheriffs of Blaine edition, and we have the Emergency edition. What we're simply going to do is, we're going to simply choose all three of them, because I like all of three of them, I've tried them out, they're good, I'll suggest you to do the same, and then we'll move on. So here we have our configuration preset, this is simply your dispatch meta on how units will respond. We still have realistic, which is basically real life scenario police responding. We then have balanced, which is based on police and the army. We then have balanced, no army, which is basically police and SWAT. We also have arcade, which is which is a fun, which is the mo mo where it puts all the fun um, different weapons, even melee weapons as you see in the picture here. And we have GTA San Andreas style, which is adding the Police from GTA San Andreas into the game. So what we're going to do now? I'm going to choose realistic because I like that, and we're going to move on. So now we have uh, additional options. Uh, we have World of Variety, I believe, and Experimental GTA Realism AI Changes. We have Ka Kahaki or Ka Kaki, I believe, News True, which is adding new skins to the news uniforms. We also have no flashing headlights. Headlights, which are basically move over every flashing headlights from every vehicle. We also have the LSPDFR exit section, of course. We have the LSPDFR backup, we have the LSPDFR custom backup, we have the better EMS, and we have the arrest manager. We also have simple trainer, which is not included in LSPDFR, just like that. And we have cup codes, which you also can use in LSPDFR, and we have spawn vehicle, multiplayer vehicles, single player. So, all known, I do want to put some of some of these um, options are uh, just config files. For some of this, it will only install the config file, not the mod itself. Note of that. So, anyways, we're gonna choose these without the LSPDFR file edition. Uh, what I would suggest you also to try out is this one, this one, not this one. Don't know why it's selected. We'll just press that, and uh, it's basically it. So we're gonna press next, and this is show. Now it shows what mod you wanted. What currently been chosen. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to press build and it's going to modify it and there it is. So you can see you have the file itself, RDE, uh, version IOV, the same I showed you before. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open this, we're going to choose this one. And we're going to go to package installer and this one and open. So basically now it's gonna install everything I've selected. I'm not gonna press install because this is a clean version. 
because I needed to something else, a current project I'm, work project I'm working on. So yeah. But basically, you know, guys, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you would like to uh, me to show one of the new um, add-ons I've already not shown off, leave a comment down in the description. And um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm out. This is Delta Force. Take care.